Hey guys, and welcome to Unofficial, Unofficial Sisters. Sisters. It's your co, it's your host, Little B Mason, and co-host Samantha. And welcome to episode four. Woohoo! Four. We're rolling. Yes. Somehow we've actually done them. We have to hear, you know, get in there. I was a little worried that, that I wasn't gonna be able to do it this week, but we'll get into that. How have you? How has your day been going? I have been doing pretty good all week long. My son loving going back to the classroom. And next week he is back all week long, not alternating at school and he's home. And, and so it's been amazing. My daughter is loving it too because she gets to walk to the school with us and back. And, well, she's walking. We don't have to walk to the school. Walking. She is walking. Yeah. Yeah. It's a slower process. Yes. Which is weird to see her walk. It's like, you can move. Yeah, very quickly. <laughs> uh, any plans for next week? Outside of maybe just your son, like anything you want to do next week? Any appointments? Any new news? You know, I think I have a multiple sclerosis appointment. Just a check-in with my doctor because, you know, that stupid disease. you got to check in every once in a while. Yeah. But it's all good. My doctor's amazing. and I don't actually <laughs> see the doctor. I see the assistant that I always have because I'm not bad from the MS. So you couldn't guess I had it unless I told you. Sure. How sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> um. Let's see. Anything going for me this week? Yeah, last week was interesting. Uh, so the weekend was fine. On Sunday, I decided I wanted Mexican food for dinner, but I didn't want it at three o'clock in the afternoon. So I ordered it, got it in, and I left it on my on my stand in the living room for I don't know from three to about six or seven at night. This is you know dairy. This is cheese and sour cream and guac. Did I put it in the fridge? No, no. of course not. Why would anyone think of that? Yeah, my mom even said, "Why don't you put it in the fridge?" I'm like, oh, it should be fine. I'll, I'll eat it here in the next hour. I'll be fine. You know, six hours later, I'm like, oh, I'll eat it. It's fine, and it didn't taste bad. Like it wasn't like, oh, this is off. It just was kind of wet from the condensation of the building. So I'm like, oh, I'm fine. I woke up Monday morning and uh, I didn't go to school because I was throwing up every like hour. <laughs> And, oh, my food poisoning hurts. I've heard. I've never gotten it. Oh. Hallelujah. Knock on wood. Yeah. Um, i trying to think. I mean, imagine, like, every, I mean, look, it was almost every hour. I think it was actually on the dot every hour. Imagine just right here, somebody just just, just grabbing mm -hmm. and squeezing and twisting. And, and the only way to re relieve that, like, just, like, almost like someone's stabbing you repeatedly is to vomit. It's like... It's got to be a better solution. I would hope so. I wish there would be. Um, so I didn't go to school that day. I mean, it wasn't contagious, but like that just would have been insanely annoying. Yes. And then I was, I had, I have hybrid, I, last week I had hybrid classes. So I was off Tuesday. I went to class on Wednesday. I bet you had an appointment on Wednesday to see my ear doctor. Um, my ear, he said that if my ear came to his office every day, he'd lose a job. My ears are perfect. There's no wax buildup. There's not a lot of hair. But he does notice what the doctor said. There's a... My ear is oversensitive. It's actually overworking. It's acting as if this ear is deaf and it's picking up double sound and then this ear picks it up. And it's triggering the ringing. They did a, some kind of like air puffy to see how that would move. This ear moved. This one... It like triple did it and he's like... And so we did a hearing test. My hearing test came back perfect. I can hear better than most people can. Um, he did see a spike in my right ear, so he's having me go to a nerve doctor to get like a, like a cranial nerve exam to see if it's a nerve blockage. Um, this won't be a surgical thing, but uh, I could be having to listen to like an audio therapy to help relax the ear and remind it what's doing. And I'm like, well, that might be better for you, so you're not. No, like so you mean ASMR? <laughs> exactly. So uh, that's you know what it is so the ringing and the reason why it's responding so much to the pressure like on a bus is because there's a lot of rattling that goes on the bus and it's just over picking it up and i'm like is there a way around it and he went don't go on the bus yeah it's not happening <laughs> i said i have to especially when we get snowstorms i gotta i have to so as soon as you see a nerve doctor that's gonna be a thing at some point um, let's hope it's nothing too serious i think it'll be fine he's like you're not going deaf you're doing the opposite of going deaf you're overworking too much yeah uh, he said that could be a problem from having, have you, you do that one thing, you put one earphone in and have the one earphone out, I'm like, yeah, and he goes, 
that's one thing that could be and he, how he knew it was nerve and it wasn't like something behind the ear done that they can't see yet is when he did a q-tip test just to kind of see if there's any wax build up this year no reaction this year i gagged when he pressed against my ear he i gagged and he's like nerve damage nerve damage we're taking to the nerve doctor so i'm like at least they could point it out remember mm -hmm. me six dollars <laughs> figure anything out yeah. so yay and then i find out that my doctor my, my doctor my teacher forgot he had an appointment on friday so there was no class that day he forgot he scheduled a 9 30 appointment in the middle basically of our class oops yeah so we had to leave early and then i get an email from my studio teacher that we're moving to on campus so i'll be going to school monday through friday um monday thursday monday wednesday friday i'll be there 8 30 to 10 30 and then tuesdays and thursdays i'll be there 8 30 to 11 30. It will be a studio. So I had to take down all my studio equipment and return it, which was nice to do. Um, took me two hours to do the work, just to set up the equipment. I'm not even doing the assignment itself. It took me two hours. Wow. Thank goodness I had my mom help me have whole <clears> things. And But yeah, we started we started it at like at 10. I don't think either one of us even got a picture done until almost midnight. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. So that was fun. And then I also had to edit it in less than 24 hours to get it up because it just was timing was just off of the teacher. So, as you can tell, I had a fun week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, next week is just going to be be back on campus and getting that set up. I started being a freelancer for a YouTuber. Uh, so, that's been fun. I'm sure it is. I'm sure you love every minute of it. Getting my payments and stuff and having kind of that experience has been nice. I'm sure it has. She's eating lunch right now, so she ever gets a little silent. That is why. She's eating lunch. I ate before she came. I was responsible. <laughs> no, tomorrow I was forced. <laughs> it was more yeah. like, you need to eat. It's noon. <laughs> yeah, I got busy doing things and <laughs> vacuuming the living room at my house. Ugh. Down yeah. the hall while I'm having it. And... I hate vacuuming, but I love the sound of it. <laughs> then I chased my daughter with the vacuum and <laughs> she'd crawl off and, <laughs> and ran to my dad and <sighs> laughing about it and having fun. Jesus. Um... So I figured our little food for thought, something that we can all can ponder and we can talk over and you guys can ponder throughout the episode, leave it in the comments, that sounds like you farted. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. Um, is I don't know where I saw this. I, I, it wasn't social media. It wasn't like Facebook or Twitter. Like I, I wasn't there. So it wasn't like a rumor or anything like that. I think I saw on a street sign heading to school. Um, I remember uh, my teacher who is my... Uh, journalism teacher his daughter is has heard it can at her school i'm not sure if you've heard of this about rj yet about them wanting to add sexual education classes as young as first graders chewing <laughs> i heard adding it as fourth grade mm, i've heard it because i signed a consent form saying it all right for my son to learn it in school for fourth graders and i i heard as young as first graders and i'm like i was wondering your opinion do you think that that's a little too young even first for grade yes Mm. Maybe not because I see it online mm -hmm. on TV. Because I I was kind of curious about that. I was like, I, I don't know more about it. I didn't yeah. learn. I mean, I only started learning. I mean, my mother <laughs> from the day I was like five. My mother was telling me about this stuff. I think when I was eight, I knew what everything was because of my mom, not because of school. I didn't learn about it in school until almost maybe sixth grade. I think they might have touched on it in, like, that, like, hygiene class in, like, fifth grade. But it was always, it was nothing ever too in your head. But then I got into sixth grade, and I'm like. Whoa, back <laughs> up the train. That's yeah, no, when, they, when they had the guy and the girl sitting in the same class, and I'm like, hey. That moment, you're supposed to no longer have cooties. And I'm like, I think you have more cooties now. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I was just wanting your opinion. As a parent of, a, of two children now, how do you feel about the idea of them learning it so young? I think it's better because then it's not gonna, not gonna run into a brick wall when it comes up and mm -hmm. someone says something. Like, oh yeah, I heard that. It's whatever. Mm -hmm. My son already pretty much knows it too because you know his dad conversations. Let's yeah. talks about things. Doesn't leave it. You know, oh, what, it's a secret. You can't know. He's like, oh, you want to know? Well, let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, let's have a conversation. That's what my mom was too. She was like, she it wasn't like, hey honey, let's sit down and talk about this. It was more of like, if you ever hear something, you have a question, let me know. And I was like, why would I have a question? And then I'd hear things around there. I'm like. Huh? Or like yeah. my grandfather, who's very old school, would try to spell things out, and mom's like, "Just say it." He'd be like, 
well, yeah, when I had my eight kids, I had, you know, we I were talking about like, him having eight kids. He goes, yeah, well, S-E-X was always so weird. But I was like, just, just say, say the word. <laughs> Brianna knows what it means. It's okay. And I was just curious because uh, to me, I, uh, to me, just the idea, I'm like, aren't you still too innocent? Keep him young and innocent. He is innocent. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and so I, I want to keep, from under the age of probably 13, I'm like, keep them innocent while they're still young and pure. And I'd go back it's and forth. It's better to know it, in my opinion, when yeah. you're young and pure. And then when something unpure hits you, you're ready for it because you know about it. Yeah, and that, that's the thing. I'm glad my mom talked to me like she did and it was straightforward. Like, this, 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 there. You know, it's no, there's no magic potions. There is no bird. There's no mailman. It is simply male. No store. Wo- yeah, male woman done. But I, I also said my mom was like, I was seven. <laughs> I could have believed in Santa Claus for a couple more years. You know, that thing of like, I had a couple more years. Well, my son kind of knows because he has a sister. And... <laughs> yeah, and no bird came in his house that night. Exactly. He went to the hospital. He knows what happened. Yeah. So I was kind of curious as a parent. And then also, there are some people saying that they're okay with this idea. As a kid learning it younger, but they don't like the idea of a teacher telling their kids this at a young age. Because what if they sugarcoat it? Or what if, you know, it's just not reveyed properly? The parent wants to be the one to do to make that decision. And I'm like, I get it. But sexual education, like, health class is needed. It's that weird line Well, of... see, I, I think your parent, the parent, not your parent, but the parent, should teach your kid. But in school, if they learn it, then the parent can go home and go, I learned this, and then the parent can elaborate and mm-hmm. do what they want with it. Yeah, and say it how they think is the best way to say it. I want your guys' opinion. If you're a parent or if you're if you're about my age and you're just kind of from someone who learned it at whatever age you learned it at, how do you guys feel about the idea of a, a young child coming to you being like, ah, whatever I think of, I think of kindergarten cop and that one boy kindergarten cop. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. I can just see kids turning into that. I'm like, oh, poor teachers. <laughs> <laughs> poor teachers. Um, so, yeah, I just saw that going around and I was... Around RJ's idea, yeah, okay, let's, let's start the conversation. But uh, first graders, kindergartners. I couldn't see them doing it that early. I just heard someone say that, and I'm like, are you serious? That's too young. I agree. They're just fresh out of the room. Let them let them breathe. You're okay with my shoe on your bed, right? Oh, yeah. The amount of things have come on my bed. Okay, I have food on your bed. Who am I kidding? That did not sound right. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded better with my head. All of those who think wrong, like you, would think something bad about it. You thought you caught on to that finally. Something else thing over there? Just. Uh, let me see something else over there. You I'm just looking at your B. All decorated uh, like that. I was like, is there anything new that you haven't recognized? Yeah, I, it's on B. I was like. Yeah, I switched things up a little bit. I got a lot of books. I got a little library going on over here. Anyways. So, yeah, you guys let me know in the comments, or let us know in the comments what y'all think, how you guys feel about that. I keep going back and forth. I feel like there should be an age gap if we're going to talk about that kind of stuff, you know? I think I just kind of go back and forth. It's like, if I think about it, like, the idea of, like, RJ and, like, Elizabeth knowing about that kind of stuff, I'm like, no, 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 hang on. But I think about, like, a stranger and a kid, I'm like, I don't care. So it's kind of thing when it's with someone I know personally, I'm like, no, 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 plug your ears, plug your ears. But then when it's, like, And you when know, you live the, love the person, you're like, I don't want you to have to hear that. Yeah, that's But then nasty. somebody else, oh, oh you go ahead, go, you Yeah, okay, it's your child. Do what you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know, those people like our dirty jokes, I'm like, plug her ears. <laughs> I'm like, wait, she doesn't understand me just yet. Not mm-hmm. yet. <laughs> Definitely not. So, yeah. But it is love month. Yes, it is. Well, in a couple days. Yes. <laughs> um, by the time you're at the same as it should be. But there's 31 days in this month, isn't there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, tomorrow's love month. <laughs> um, any exciting plans for Valentine's Day? Um, You know, I don't really focus on Valentine's Day just because my birthday's the day yeah, after. A- and so it's like. So we're trying to focus on celebrating Valentine's Day or celebrating my birthday. My husband wants to put lights up because it's Valentine's Day. This is what you do on Valentine's Day. I'm like, no, not really. Who cares about lights? <laughs> Will we find out that we did last the, the, a couple years ago that you're pregnant? Um, no. <laughs> well, like, I'm not... What was it, two years ago? 2019 you had a child? Yeah, 2019. This around this time of year, you're like, I'm pregnant. And I'm like, uh... That's when it finally came out. I mean... Yeah. So, like, are we going to find out some new news this year? <laughs> nope, been on birth control. I'm good. Uh, I, I, How about I'm, you? Do you and your partner love have part We've talked about it. Um, we He lives... I don't live with people. I... He... What? He lives with people who uh, have, compromised, have compromised immune systems and, you know, 
old people that probably shouldn't be around any kind of risks. But we definitely have talked about FaceTiming, Zoom, Google Hangout, maybe just saying F it and just getting together and being like, let's just do something together. Let's do something small. Keep a mask on, no kissing, no nothing, which that's mean. But, you know, it's a chance to see each other um, beyond a screen. Kiss to the mask. <laughs> it, it's beyond the screen, which is kind of what we're looking for. Uh, I've bought him gifts. I have a little, your tote's amazing. I am doing, I have that for him. So I, I've definitely gotten gifts, and I have a bunch of stuff for him, so we'll see. It's 50-50. There's a chance, yes. We've talked about it, but will it go through in person? We'll find out. You'll cross that bridge when you get there. Yeah. I understand. Um, well, see, here's my whole thing. I live with the guy. Yeah. Share the same bed, so it's really... If we met post-pandemic, I think, pre... Before the pandemic. Pre. Yeah. Uh, post-pandemic just sounds way better. I I mean, if you had post before pandemic, it would have made things a little bit easier, but in the middle of one is... But see, here's the whole thing. It proves how strong your connection is, because you're staying together with this nasty crowd yeah, and I... going around the world. Mark, sorry if you watch my video, if you listen to this. I kind of tricked him in answering one of my questions. I, I, I know him and I wanted to go slow because of when we met and all of that. So I know that we wanted to take it a bit slower, not really rush into anything. But, you know, we haven't really given a lot of personal, personal details. Like, it's been very basic conversation, basic everything. Um, I mean, for a long time, I didn't know what his last name was. He didn't know. He barely knew me. It was very simple. And I tricked... Did I just hear what she said correctly? I was saying what I think she just said. Um, and I tricked him into give me, giving me his birthday. Because he hadn't really talked about it yet. And I said, yeah, well, I found out that my friend Brooke might be coming for my birthday, which she might be. She's supposed to be here this weekend, but the snow stopped her. She's supposed to be here. Rude. Um, I was thinking we'd be a special guest, but no. Rude. My son wanted to be here, too, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's still sleeping. Wow. I, w I wish I could sleep that long. He stays up all night and then sleeps all day. I go to bed about two, and I always, even though I try, I'm, I'm up by noon. I try and lay in bed until two, but I wish. <laughs> um, and I don't know, so. So you got his him. birthday out of that. Yeah, I, I was a little like, yeah. And he was like, wait, I think you've told me, but I forgot. I never told him. And I said, yeah, July thirteenth. And I said, yeah, wait, when's yours? You might have told me before when we first met, but I don't know. never has. And you know, his birthday was also in July, and I'm like, <gasps> wow. But we're both not cancer babies. He's a Leo. He just misses the deadline for a, uh, for a cancer. And I, of course, I'm not a big believer in the zodiac signs. I think they're interesting to learn about, and I think they're interesting and there's some truth to them. But do I base my entire relationship off of it? No, because you and I should not be getting along. Oops. Aqu Aquarius and cancers are arch enemies. Oh. And we get along better than, like, <laughs> most people I hang out with. <laughs> She's the era, right? Yeah. And we get along better than most do. Um... Obviously, you let me sit in your bed and eat food. Yeah, I mean, hell, I hired you to be a, a, a co-host on a YouTube channel, like, of anybody I could have chosen, you know. Uh, so don't take it to heart per too much, but apparently Leos and Cancers are pretty good together. <laughs> you guys can't see what she's doing, but she's just sitting next to me, like, licking her hands. I love them. They're so soft. I like watching people eat. It's weird. Because you just see different people. Some of you those disgusting ones that it's just mouth open, just blah, like a child. But then you get the some people that are just very, you know, eat pizza with a knife and fork. And you're like, what are you doing? I'm not that. No. Not with food, anyways. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of fun if we did a little Valentine's Day tag answered some questions off of the YouTube Society. And kind of this is very basic Valentine's Day questions. Almost kind of like, would you rather Valentine's Day edition? Uh, we can get our opinions. Of course, you guys can answer the questions in the comments or, you know, answer them on your own podcast if you have one. Exactly. Answer them wherever you would like. Ask yeah. somebody else what they say about it. Answer in your head. Never tell me anything. Ah. Just... So it's Be My Valentine YouTube tag question. You ready? Sure. Let's no go for it. Number one. Valentine's Day, overhyped or a fun day to spend with loved ones? I think it's overhyped. Yes. Why one day a year is only, why is only one month love month, you know? Every day. Why is only day. one day focused on, this is the love, oh my god. How did someone decide that's the day to yeah. show all your love? 
Yeah. So I, I definitely think it's overhyped as it's like such a big deal, but I do think it is fun to celebrate. I mean, it is fun, but yeah, I think they just put developed it to make money out, and then it hit, and everyone loves it now. But... It's a way to make single people feel bad about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> um, number two, what was your favorite childhood memory from Valentine's Day? So like school moments. You know, my whole childhood, we always like a discussed before, celebrated a three-day holiday because mm-hmm. my parents were born, married. Nah. Born. Let's go back. <laughs> they were definitely not born. My parents were married on the 13th of Valentine's. <laughs> February. Sorry, guys. That is my my thingy telling me that uh, somebody I li- My boss just emailed me. Anyway, <laughs> they were married on the 13th of February. Not the 13th of Valentine's. 13th of February. Oh wow. my gosh, I can't even talk. And I was born on the 15th of February, so we celebrated three, my dad always had it, so we celebrated the three-day holiday, and so it never focused just on Valentine's. Did you ever do it at school, send the cards in school? We uh, did, and... Never cared. Did you ever get Valentine's? Like, like, you were the people that had, like, everything in their bag or nothing at all? I was with them in the middle. I was just those one that just got, because the whole class had to give it, mm-hmm. give to everybody not at all. Mm-hmm. So. Well, because I know some people, they would get, like, double or triple the amount other people would get, and I'm like, how is that possible? Yeah. I, I think I have more friends than I do. We're, like, we're the same group. <laughs> um, uh, as a kid, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I am so sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I have, I, I started freelance for a person, and he keeps emailing me. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I told him I was doing this, too. Man, it listens. Love you, by the way. If you're listening. I know you listen to my video. I know you listen to what I do. So I love you. Just saying. Um, but yeah, I definitely celebrated it at school. I never did it at home. I my my uncle and them didn't care. They were all single, which I think is crazy. Them like your brother, uh, Scott and all of them. I think it's kind of crazy they're single. I'm just like really. They don't want to tie up that. Yeah. And I, I never did. I mean, I did it at school, but I never understood it. I mean, because I, I, mean, I had boyfriends, quote on that, whatever you want to call a boyfriend. Um, I mean, I had my first real kiss in second grade, so. But I just never really cared that much about it. Uh, number three, uh, conversation hearts or chocolate covered strawberries? Chocolate covered, what the heck was that word? Chocolate covered strawberries. Yeah, I don't them. like the ch- conversation hearts. They're all just sugar. They're just, they're just. Chalk. They don't taste good. Yeah. I like that. I think they're cute to like decorate. Like it's kind of, kind of like the whole popcorn and tree kind yeah. of thing. But. Um, <clears throat> if you could choose any celebrity to be your Valentine, who would it have been or is it currently? Like from childhood, you don't have one right now or who would it be now? I always had a crush on Patrick Swayze. Hmm. Don't know why, but. I've, I've actually never seen a picture of him, but I've heard the name from my mom. Was he a cutie? Oh. I thought he was. But, you know, mm-hmm. everyone has their own yeah. opinion of what they think is. Uh, How I about you? I think when I was a child, I would have 100% said Ross Lynch. I was obsessed with that man. Um, currently, do I have a current celebrity crush? I mean, I always have some kind of crush. Um, everyone secretly has a crush on something. This yeah. Time. It's all. I mean, I have a boyfriend. I can't say anything. <laughs> Who would be my write-off celebrity? You know, I have a husband, but I could still say something. Uh, from, uh, yeah, from childhood, definitely Ross, who now is, like, you know, way into relationships, so am I. Um, who is my current celebrity crush? Okay, I'm going to say this. He has a girlfriend and an 18-year-old son, but this is a game. I would say Cardlin Audio, or Car- the guy who played, who, the, yeah, the guy who created Cardlin, C. I would know his real name. I would totally have, this is for one night. I would love to hang out with him, just for one night. And hey, Valentine's Day would be even better. Um, but I know he has, you know, an 18-year-old son, recently divorced, and has a girlfriend. I know he's completely off limits. But hey, <laughs> for, I mean, for the sake of, uh, idea, if the cards were on the table, I wouldn't say no. Anyone yeah. now? Anywhere now? Anyone now that you really like that you're like, I have one night. You know, I can't think of one, but I bet you there probably mm-hmm. is, and it's not hitting my head now. See, I don't know what celebrities you like, or who you're interested in, to even give an idea. Random things here and there. That's all it is. <laughs> who are you? Who are you celebrating Valentine's Day this year, or are you again alone? Again, jeez, rude. Well, obviously, I have my husband and my son and my daughter. 
And we live with my mom, my dad, and my brother. So it's a whole family of love. Will you see your other brother too? Mm. Maybe. Mm. Maybe like a family Valentine's in a personal. Well, well yeah. obviously I'll sleep with my husband <laughs> and, you know, it'll still be the <laughs> personal. Family, the, yeah, well, relationship there <laughs> yeah. thing, but. And I don't mean sleep with in a dirty way. Obviously, you saw me like, okay, we're gonna be in the same bed because that's how I sleep is in you the bed. You never but know. You never know. I have plans for you. No, nah, you see, I can't tell you what he has planned. He doesn't tell me until <laughs> things happen. Um. Well, uh, you all know I have Mark, so something might happen there. Who knows? Uh, I've, my mom and I try to get each other Valentine's Day gifts. We try, uh, just to kind of you know, because it shouldn't just be for lovers. It also could be for your family members. But who knows? Uh, as of right now, just Mark that I'm aware of. My mom hasn't bought anything for my dad that I know of and vice versa. Um, they don't really care about Valentine's Day in that context. And I think it's because I'm in a new relationship that we're just like, <laughs> a chance to do something together. We're taking it, you know. But I'm not single this year. Like, this is my first time ever having a holiday that's not alone. I usually meet people after the holidays or we break up before the holidays. Just by timing. <laughs> like, I'd meet them in, like, March and then probably by August or September they'd be out of my life. And I just never got a... Uh, never had the hookup for holiday. Yeah. This is gonna... I, I met him right after Halloween before Thanksgiving and we had all this time. So we're kind of like... Our first few months have been within the holidays. So it's been interesting. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have many more. Um, do you ever, do you ever make dinner plans? And if you have, what was the best, best place you ever went to? I have with my mom and we went to Olive Garden. I'm not sure if that was the best, but I mean, I've never gone anywhere too, too fancy. Yeah. I've never gone really fancy either. I liked one moment. Oh, I said Tomato Street. Mm. I really love Tomato Street. I love the black pepper chicken there. <laughs> Sorry, people were laughing because my daughter's making noise on the other side of the door. <laughs> and pause. But yeah, like, because it was always celebrated as my birthday, the anniversary, and Valentine's. Mm. And now we just focused on Valentine's. So. <sighs> Interesting lives you leave. Exactly. Not leave, um, live. Live. Leave. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've left that. We have thought we left that life. Uh, red or pink as a color? Which one do you think is a proper color for Valentine's Day? Red or pink? I think pink. Really? I do. I don't know. I, I, red and pink don't clash. That's two colors that don't clash. You know, they're like the same color. They, they don't just, clash. Yeah, white, red, yeah. and pink. Yeah, but they don't clash. When you put those two colors together, it looks stupid. It's the weirdest thing in the world. It's the weirdest color palette in the world. Um, when I think of hearts, which is the, like the mascot for Valentine's Day, I think of red. But I like the color pink more. So it's that weird thing of, like, personal preference, I prefer the color pink. But when I think of Valentine's Day, I think red. I like the pink because it's like a soft... Tone, yeah. It's more soft, sweet. It's a soft red. Yeah. I definitely put pink as a soft, sweet, and red is more like that sexy... Nah. Depends on, I guess, who you are. <laughs> uh, which preferred gifts? Flowers or chocolates? Can I have both? Can I have a rose with, you know, a box of chocolates? I'd have to say... Chocolates, because I'm not really the Flower. gardener As you can person. tell from my flowers, I enjoy fl fake flowers and all the plants I have around my room. Yeah, I'm not big on plants and all that stuff. I didn't think I would be either until one day it happened. Until one day it hit. I bought a green thing and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> um, which would you prefer as your dinner? Sushi or pizza? Sushi. Pizza's too messy. And it has dairy. Uh-uh. As gluten, dairy, and acidic process, I'm done. You talk about pizza has all that, not yeah. sushi. Yeah, I, saying, I prefer sushi because pizza has... What if I don't want either? Then what would you choose? I don't know, maybe like a spaghetti or something like that. Cause... Pasta. <laughs> yeah. Safe. Uh, I... Oh, I, pizza, I love pizza, but it has three things. I, I can eat gluten. I just... I guess I just choose not to. So I'm like, if I don't have to and it tastes good, why would I? If it's better for me not to, then why would I? It's like hamburger. I'm not allergic to hamburger. But if I can get an impossible meat and it'd be better for me and I still get the same flavor, why not? Um, but it has dairy and that is just hell for me. It has acidic, which is hell for my stomach lining pills. Um, 
So it's just never a safe option. <laughs> yeah, I know. But sushi, I, the thing about I don't like raw fish. I don't like fish at all. I need California rolls. And I like crab. And I like shrimp. So I can kind of get away with it. Um, so I guess sushi. <laughs> and also, I don't like seaweed either. Unless it's in sushi. So. Like, are you a big sushi person? I don't know that I've ever eaten any. <gasps> I need to take you to a sushi restaurant that I go to. Also, that's Chinese food, too. They kind of serve a mixture of both. I may have and don't remember, but... I need, I need to introduce her to sushi. Next podcast. <laughs> Introducing some method of foods. <laughs> Nummy. Uh, which drink would you prefer? Beer or wine? Wine, 100%. White rosaic wine is the best. I'd have to say wine, because I don't like the taste of beer. Depends on the beer. If it's still suckies, I'll take one. They taste kind of like root beer. It's the weirdest thing. Um, I also like Coors Light. That's fine. I've had that a handful of times. But I didn't think I'd like wine because I hate grape juice in general. I think grape juice is just... I don't like grape jelly. I, grapes besides the fruit are just... The artificial flavoring of grape is disgusting. Um, but I randomly tried... Well, wine isn't wine isn't artificial. It's the real thing. So and I, I've tried red, red wine... Wed wine. <laughs> we have wedding wine, kind of. And I was, it was, I'm like, it's okay, but like, I don't get the hype. I tried plain white wine. I'm like, again, don't get the hype. A rosé white wine, white wine. You have having problems talking today. It's all right. We all understand. <laughs> I was like, give me six bottles of this. And so I guess I'm a rosé girl, which is crazy expensive. The bottle ones, I want like 15 bucks. Of course, the cheaper, like, $8 ones, I'm like... <laughs> you have expensive taste. Yeah, I have a champagne taste for a beer budget. Straight up and down. I want to shop at Gucci, and I can really be shopping at Goodwill. <laughs> so, I guess for you, you probably wouldn't want either one. So what would be your go-to drink? Mm, a nice cup of coffee with caramel in it. Yeah. <laughs> That butt gets my heart right there. That caramel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in in your perfect world, what would be the perfect ideal Valentine's Day night with your partner or a loved one? So if you took away the birthday, the anniversary, and all that. It was just you and Ron for one night. What would you? What would the dream be? Watch a movie and cuddle up together. Maybe have something to eat to share. But really, just watch a movie and cuddling sounds like perfect night. I like how they said remove children, parents, or all extras unless you have, have a partner. <laughs> Like, well, that's just mean. <laughs> yeah, uh, if Mark and I, just him and I, ooh. Um, I think him and I, because based on how him and I already are, I would say we would do more like a day date than I think a night date. I think him and I are definitely, I mean, I'm not a day person at all. I hate mornings. But I just know from our personalities, we probably do more like a brunch. I could see him like driving around in a car just talking, getting food, and just, like, hanging out, talking, playing video games. Him and I are very chill. We don't need, you know, $1,000 foods and truffles and fondue. It's just, like, we just want each other, conversations, and good food. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I could see him and I playing video games, eating random food, and just talking. Him and I just to talk in person and just to cuddle would be everything. I don't know about movies. I don't know if we really have a, 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 a desired movie John, we both enjoy just yet. We haven't really gotten there. But, yeah. Him and I just being in the same house would be awesome. And then the last question is, uh, it says tag a friend. So I'm going to change that and say, are you excited for Valentine's Day this year? Yes, because I now have four family members to share it with. The more love you have, the better the day gets. Four? Maybe you children, your well, husband. Well, yeah, I can it myself. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I have three family members to I share. mean, maybe your parents, but that would not make a full four. I was thinking we had four in the family. I didn't mean to say that I had four family members. Yeah. No, I'm like, really? Well, Texas, you know, I have five. Yeah. Because two animals. But Will you get your son and your daughter anything? The like candy or whatever? Maybe some, a candy. Something's random. Because they both love candy. All right, and we will take a small, quick break for a ad. Again, thanks to Athea for sponsoring this podcast. Woohoo! Thank you to Athea Skincare for sponsoring today's podcast. And to learn a little bit more, here's Brianna. Okay, guys, we know the deal with acne, dry skin, oily skin. 
issues. We all understand the problem, and I am so happy to say that I am part of the ambassadoring team of Athea Skincare. Athea Skincare is an amazing brand. They have literally everything you would ever want. They have lip products, hair products, new hairline products, skincare, scrubs, exfoliants, cleansers, uh, plumping eye serums, cooling products, depuffing products, nighttime masks. I mean, you name a skincare item, they have it, and it's all cruelty-free. No animals are ever harmed or used in the making of their products. Everything is 100% safe for you, for you and your children. Of course, please do not eat the products. But if a little piece of it is ingested through the scrubbing around your face, you're not going to die. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yes. So if you guys want to get 15% off your entire purchase, please use the code in the description or the code on your screen right now. Also, they have a new deal going on where you can get 75% off a traditional $237 purchase, which is traditionally purchasing their entire the entire packet of over 50 products. You can get 75% off with their new coupon code, which will be in the description as well. This is a limited time offer only, so get it, get it, get it. Again, this is also safe for kids. So if you have that young teenager, maybe a child dealing with eczema or any kind of skin issues, you also can use some of their products on them. Again, thank you so much to Athea skincare for sponsoring today's podcast and how let me be part of the ambassading team and um hope you guys enjoy the rest of the podcast and welcome back to the unofficial, unofficial sisters. sisters it's your host little b and samantha and it's love month as we we're talking about we just finished the valentine's day tag kind of talking about what we had plans for the month um nothing too crazy for either one of us i would have to say yeah definitely not <laughs> So, uh, I kind of, the, the tag where I kind of got us into this, I was going to talk about, like, memories from past and childhood and all of that. Did you have any, like, random boyfriends in middle school, high school that you celebrated something with? You know, I never really had a boyfriend at all. Hmm. But I have three brothers, so most guys are like, no, I'm scared <laughs> because you have the brother. <sighs> My big, just older brother is bigger than most people are, and he always has been, so it's like, really? Tim's always been just a bit... I've never seen him as a kid. I've never, of course. I've never seen photos around. I, I've only known Tim one way. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, they are, and we were always close. Like, we'd walk to school together, and they'd always mm-hmm. think, oh, is that your boy? And I'm like, uh, no. Gross. And they're like, what? I was like, yeah, it's my brother. Like, I saw this day even farther apart. Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> you can get away with it with a boyfriend, but with a brother, no. <laughs> yeah, it's a different production there. Um, I always had boys, which sounds really weird. I had a guy, I actually asked a guy in kindergarten to marry me. He said yes. We're technically married. We've never broken up. But did you go to the ceremony? At recess we did. Oh. He gave me a Play-Doh ring that got eaten by my friend Dylan. But did you have somebody there to say, I now pronounce you? No, so it never really happened. I don't think my friend Nikki, I don't think my friend Nikki was into it. She was like, this is stupid, guys. Boys have cooties. And I was like... He's cute. <laughs> I never went through a cootie phase. I was like, he's cute. <laughs> and then in first grade, my friend Dylan, who I had, I was friends with Dylan until almost third grade. He ate a lot of Play-Doh. He loved Play-Doh. He ate my ring. Uh, and <gasps> so I don't know if we ever dated, but he got me into eating glue and erasers. That's just wrong. And we found out that if you mix oranges and chocolate milk, it doesn't taste good. Yeah, no kidding. So I think him and I, and then I had my first kiss in second grade in the boys' bathroom during lunch. What are you doing in the boys' bathroom? It was a half day of school, and we were heading back to the, to our actual main classroom to have lunch before getting home. And I had friends at the time. <laughs> and uh, he ran ahead of us, and they pushed me, and they said, Brianna, Brianna, Come here, come here. And I was like, what? What? And they said, here. And they pushed me. And he grabbed my waist behind the door and kissed me. At the time, it was the cutest thing in the world. Now I realize, put your tongue back in your mouth, boy. It was more of this. And so that's a real kiss. I was like, Bleh. and I was like, at the time, I'm like, he kissed me. And now I'm like, what? A dog kissed me. <laughs> Max can do that. <laughs> but, you know, we're second grade. What do we know yet? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then in third and fourth and fifth, I had a crush on a boy named Luis. I had a crush on him. I never ever talked to him now. 
And then in sixth grade, I dated a guy named Talon until I left and I went homeschooled. And then I had basically nobody. And I had like, like long distance. I had Corey all throughout high school. He lived up in Canada. I dated another guy that was in Canada. I like Canadians. Obviously. I'm just going to say that. But, but uh, they, Corey and I still talk. We're just now best friends. I don't talk to my ex anymore, my current ex. He has a girlfriend and all of that. And they've moved in together already. And we both moved on already. And of course I have Mark now. So I've always had some kind of guy in my life. <laughs> Um, no. I not know. But I never celebrated anything. I mean, the, I think the worst I ever did was Tal and I would ditch six, period. We would go get, we would go across the street to McDonald's and get ice cream. Ooh, you ditcher. Oh, yeah, don't follow my lead when I was in sixth grade. I was, like, the horrible student in sixth grade. That was the, that was my marble year. That was the year I did drugs. That was the year I ditched classes. I would cause fights. I'd, I'd beat up a kid. i you know, yeah, that was like my rebel year. I ditched school all the time. Not proud of it. Not the best thing you could ever do in your world. But, you know, I had that year where I just was an idiot and tried yeah, pill. And I'm one of those idiots that said ditching school was the worst thing ever. Not being allowed to go to school was, oh my God, how dare you not let me go. Yeah, so. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I guess I learned something. I learned don't take blue pills from somebody. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I learned that uh, it's real easy to ditch class. Like, no one really cares. And I learned that punching a boy makes people scared of you. This guy, Dustin, he promised me... I have something on my shirt. What the heck's on my shirt? I'm stripping for Samantha. There's something on my shirt. It's Looks itching. like tape. It's itching me. <laughs> you taped your shirt. Did. My Cardinal Audio shirt. More garbage on the floor. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, what was his name? What was I about? Don't be like you in sixth grade. Yeah. What was I about? <laughs> uh, I, he promised me a Pokemon card. I was, I was that nerd that had like the binders full of Pokemon cards. I sold them at one point and got rid of them. Um, and he didn't bring it to school that day because he forgot. So I punched the crap out of him. Apparently that scares people. <laughs> a girl can beat up a guy? Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of my... Call the National Guard. That was my, like, experience with Valentine people. It's got ice cream sundaes instead of going to school. And I hated first period. I hated to read 180. So I would just ditch and stay in the bathroom all class. And go over to Miss Mills' class for math. I hated that class. I also hated my sixth period class. Mrs. Wilson... Oh my gosh, try to go crazy. So I'll just go to McDonald's and then go back to the bus and don't ever know any different because the school never like, cared or something. I was always in the principal's office. I ate lunch in the principal's office one time. But at the same time, my grades never dropped. I got math awards. I had perfect attendance. I don't know how that happened, but I did. I won this a couple of days. So like, I, I did it, but I never got in trouble for it. I told my mom too, I've only cheated three times in my entire life with like for tests. I only did it three times. And I, knock on wood, never got caught. Because I mean, if you're going to cheat and you're going to mess up, do it correctly. But I don't recommend doing it. it. You know, don't, don't follow my footsteps. Don't. Definitely not. You know, I'll tell RJ Lopez the same thing. Don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> sixth grade me is not the me you want to aspire to be to. Be the college me. He doesn't know the sixth grade you, so it's all good. Be like the college me. Um, so I just thought I could do a little, a little shout out here. Um, so I officially have... You guys will know about more about this tomorrow on Monday. You guys will know more about what this is all about. Uh, I have a Valentine's Day giveaway. Woohoo! Three lucky people will be able to win a really cool little Valentine's Day care package from me. I'll have a full video tomorrow talking about what's in it, how to enter into it, and all of that. Uh, and I just, but I'll give you guys a little sneak peek that that's happening. And on Valentine's Day, I'll announce the winners. So, um, yeah. That's awesome. That actually, I'm doing a, I'm doing a giveaway again. That is awesome. Yet again. <laughs> okay, we are slowly gonna have to start wrapping this up. We're almost at an hour. We're almost there. Wow, I didn't think it'd been that long. Neither did I. We talked about the tag for a long time. That tag took us almost thirty two minutes. I'm like wow, we're getting good at talking to each other. Yes, we are. <laughs>
That's so, sad. You know, <laughs> somehow we're getting good at this. Um, we're supposed to not like each other, remember? I know. And, yeah, I, I don't know. The giveaway is going to be... Everyone's going to give the same thing, by the way. I want to say the giveaway that's not going to be like my Christmas giveaway where three people are going to win two different things. Uh, this is all going to be the same items. It's just going to be like my little thank you back to you guys because February 12th, I celebrate five years of being a content creator, official partner. Uh, so that's exciting. So I thought I'd be do a fun little giveaway, give back to you guys. Um, yeah, that, that, that is kind of my little update on my YouTube stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So again, uh, if you are my boyfriend, any of my close friends or my family members, you cannot enter in this giveaway. You are not welcomed in any of my giveaways. Yeah. <laughs> I will give it to you. If you guys want something from me that's signed and I will do it for you personally. No need for anything like that. This is for the baby bees only. So if you are, you know, anybody who knows me personally, you're out of the, you're out, you're out of the ranks. You're mi immediately eliminated. <laughs> which sounds super mean. <laughs> Okay, and we're back and breathing again. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, so actually, somebody had a question for you. Alrighty. Specifically, that was a little bit of advice. They said, "Sam, you mentioned in one of the on one of the podcasts that you had a messy room growing up. When did you clean it, and how did you stay motivated to continue being clean, or have you resorted back to your old messy ways?" You know, I <clears throat> we moved. And that's what ended up making me clean it in the first place. I'm so sorry. My airway is not working right now. <clears throat> and then I've just decided that after I had it clean and I moved to the new room, it's better when it's clean. Then you can move and see things. And so for me, it was just always a, oh, this is a better way to go. And I realized on my own that not messy room <laughs> is a way better way to go than not seeing the floor because it's covered with everything, as I'm pointing out here. Hey, I can tell you what's on my floor. Pillows, shoes, and stuffed animals. And a couple shopping bags. And garbage. Yeah, it's like a couple shopping bags. <laughs> <laughs> but like overall, a lot of it's just pillows. Once I don't have pillows, whenever I kind of do that. So yeah, the thing that made me clean my room was we had to move. I think having kids also kind of keeps you more organized. Well, I, ever since we moved, I never mm -hmm. got a dirty room again. But then when you find someone you like, you want them to see your room, you don't want them to see the mess. That's kind of getting me to do it too. <clears throat> So Mark's, that's a big... When Mark said that we might, you know, this year probably be more, more physically active, I'm like... Guess I'm cleaning my room. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm changing my ways. Yeah. So, and then I just, ever since we moved, I never went back to my... Messy Just habits. throw everything on the floor and... Do you ever have tendencies to want to just... Ah, eh, screw it. You no, because now my husband does that and I'm like, I don't like that. Stop. Pick it up. Don't <laughs> leave it there. I've like totally turned it. I don't like other people doing it. So my room drives you a little bit crazy. Just a little bit. But it's your space, not my space that you're making a mess. <laughs> and uh, sometimes, like, like, how my uncle is. My uncle used to be a smoker. And he doesn't miss it. He'll never go back to smoking. But when he he, but he likes standing around those who do smoke to get the smell. Because it, it satisfies something in him. So I'm like, is me being messy satisfy some kind of inner child in me of, like... No, because really I want to clean your room because it's driving me crazy, but it's your room. So I'm not going to do nothing to please, it. I'll pay you to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> and my mom, I'll pay you guys to do it for me. <laughs> I have the money now. Um, but, yeah, that's okay. Maybe hopefully well, one day that will click in my brain, too. Maybe. Yeah. And everyone's different. I definitely, I want to be a cleaner person. I just, I don't know what happens. I don't know when I go wrong. I do so good. And then something happens. I go shopping. Or I just get lazy and don't bring out clothing. Because I'm just like, oh, who cares? It's just clothes. I have plenty more to go through. And it just... <laughs> Just continues to add. Yeah, or I get like pillows and I don't like making my bed because making my bed is so annoying. <clears throat> yeah, I don't make my bed either. And, and I don't know what happens. I, there for a solid six months, my room was clean. It was nice. And then Something my birthday happened. happened. <laughs> my birthday happened and I didn't, put the, my, I didn't know what to put the, I didn't know where to put all my gifts at. So that sit out and then I'm like, well, there's like a bag there. I can kind of put things on top of that. And here we are way too long ago. Uh, so yeah, let's, let me guys know. Are you guys crazy messy, or are you guys more like a Monica Geller, <laughs> uh, or are you guys su super tidy? And, you know, or are you guys not? I'm in the middle. Yeah, she has small OCD of some things, but other things she's really like whatever. Yeah, 
I do. I always agree. I think it's funny taking you to a grocery store and just showing you a messed up aisle. It's just like... I gotta put it back. I, gotta... <laughs> I know. I do this sometimes. I'll put something in the wrong spot. I can see her grabbing it and putting it back. I would seen you do it. I'm like, you just put it right there and you take it from my hand and walk back down the whole aisle. I'm like, I can't even go. No, I cannot. The blue and red cannot mix. <laughs> I don't know why. Some things make me crazy. Some things don't. I love it, though. Because you ever know if you need something organized, say, hey, Sam, what do you think of this? Can you organize this for me? <laughs> yeah. That needs to, yeah. It, it's appreciated, too. Having people like that, it helps. It makes things a little bit more interesting. We actually have a little extra time on our hands. We haven't reached the full hour yet, which is actually impressive. We were talking there for a good, a good moment. Uh, so let's see. What else can we talk about just for the last couple of minutes? Um, guys, also leave in the comments below. Uh, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? What do you guys think about Love Month? Is it over? Is it overhyped? Let us know. Do you think it's overhyped yourself? Um, we just had fun talking to you guys, though. We like we are we are, we are enjoying the podcast. Yes, I definitely have to watch other podcasts to get ideas. Sometimes I'm like, <clears throat> okay, it's not yet Love Month, but can I do a Love Month video just yet? And that's Absolutely. all. Absolutely. That's all the Chai guys that Love Month podcast are doing. I'm like, okay, we're good. Okay, cool, 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 cool. You know, you don't have to follow whatever it is. Make, start the trends. Do it yourself. Yeah. I've been trying to do that. I was very productive last night, though, so. Last night, from the hours of 5 to about 11, I got three homework assignments done, which included three papers, got three videos done, this podcast ready to go for, and agreed to a position to work under a new freelancing job. And I'm like, hey, I'm ready for tomorrow. But now I haven't left my room all day because I've been busy doing my job. I can't say the same because I'm, oh yeah, I'm in a totally different house than mine. Yeah. <sighs> <clears throat> Putting a lot on my plate, I really do. And now I'm working two jobs, essentially. Plus school. I mean, I did vacuum upstairs from my house. Well, most of it. Yeah. Not going to go into everyone else's room and vacuum and all that. But... Mm, go clean your brother's room. Not happening. <laughs> uh, do you notice anything make with uh, your son getting messy? You ever go in you his know, room You know, he doesn't too? have space to get messy. His dad mm. kind of has taken over his room. It's getting better, but... I just don't have to know because sometimes he can fall into lines of like, hang on, no, no, don't, don't be like me, don't be like me, don't be like me. I keep telling him, you need to pick that up. You need to clean that. You need... I, so I do. I do. Because I'm like, I've been there. I understand. Stop it. <laughs> I know. If I could... I need someone like, to hypnotize me and like make me clean person. But yeah, I just saw that question. Someone saying that they they, are, they themselves are messy. And they were just curious as someone who's been there and come out of it. Uh, how you got there. Uh, but yeah, we might have to wrap this up a little bit. Uh, Ten minutes early. Uh, as I actually did not plan for us. I figured the, the Valentine's attack would take a little bit longer than it actually did. I did figured we'd go... I almost thought we were going to run out of time before we could talk about other things. Uh, I did like a little bit of a history of how Valentine's Day was created. And it really was just simply man-made. It was just, it was one of those random moments. It's like St. Patrick's Day. It was just like a random moment and it stuck. Yeah, somebody said, oh, let's do this. And it just clicked with other people. Yeah, it was the word of mouth game of, hey, I'm not hanging out. And the woman's name was Valentine and it just stuck. Uh... Did you have any food for thought, anything that you thought of over the week that you're like, oh, that's kind of a fun topic, right? Yeah. You know, I was thinking, like, how do you start your morning? Do you start with breakfast? Do you start with coffee? You know, that's a good thing to yeah. hit at. How do you start your days off to get you going up and get in the movement? And I was looking for my folder to write it in, and I had left my folder here at your house and <laughs> couldn't write it at all. It depends on the morning. If it's a school morning or if it's a weekend in the morning, because that changes my answer. And that's why that was my thought because every morning I wake up and make my kids food mm -hmm. and don't think about myself and then it'll get to later and I'm like, oh I think I want some coffee oh I want some food or <laughs> <clears throat> I figured you say coffee mm. I want moments without coffee and I'm like something's not right <laughs> it doesn't hit me I'm like I didn't have my coffee today that's why I'm not right <laughs> I need my bean juice that's right um I think on school mornings I mean I just like going to college that kind of helps me just perk up a little bit more uh, I think every morning it does start off almost the same I wake up I roll over I moan I groan I complain that it's too early even though it's one o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> and I grab my phone and I watch YouTube videos YouTube really gets me up because I watch people I enjoy and I just kind of have a little laugh with them I go on TikTok social media wakes me up a little bit uh, I think a big thing that helps me wake up is getting dressed 
I mean, like today I'm in sweatpants and a, a cardinal shirt, but like I'm dressed. I'm you know, the dress thing might be because every morning I wake up instead of leaving on pajamas, I put on clothes. Mm-hmm. If I'm staying at my house, I still yeah. get dressed. I used to think as a kid, I was like, who are these clothes? Pajamas are clothes. But then as I got older, I realized I'm more productive. And my, even if it's lazy clothes, I still it's change. It's still changing out of the pajamas. Yeah, I actually heard there's actually a psychological reason for that. Your brain actually registers day to night doing that. Um, I don't like food. If I eat in the morning, I get sick. I've tested myself eating right after right when I wake up, an hour to waiting on different timings to see. When I, woke, when I would wake up and I'd eat, I would throw up. And so I have to wait at least an hour. That's like the least I can get away with. Um, but even then, I like I like waiting for lunch. I like getting up at for school. And I have meal replacement shakes that I then switch over to eating regular food at twelve. Um, today I had a very small lunch, which pissed my mom off. But I'm like I have things to do. Timing is just not right. The timing of everything just did not line up today. I'm sorry. But you know that's okay. It happens. There are days that just things happen exactly. uh so yeah i mean it just it, i guess on the weekends it's way more relaxed it's more videos dress talking school days it's just kind of i think get up kind of with both feet and just run well my son it's uh mom yell at me mom come back and yell at me again in 20 minutes mom come back in 10 more minutes i played that game too he's not a, a wake up girl person Mom come take my blanket away and I can't hide under it anymore and fall back asleep. And then, oh, when she comes back in five minutes, I'm under it again. He doesn't even get his own clothes. I like, give him his own clothes. As a kid, that was me. My mom would come in an hour before I was trying to get up, actually, and play the game. And then she would, I would lay there listening to Sesame Street. Eyes completely shut, though. Get me dressed. And when the shoes slipped on, I knew I'd open my eyes. Well, I don't get him dressed. I just put him clothes on his bed for him to put on. Yeah. Hey. She got me dressed until I was 12 years old. I was a lazy child. Um, now, my, I have like 10 alarms. I have one that goes off at 6, one that goes at 6.15, one that goes at 7, 6.20, one at 6.30, one at 7, and one at 7.25. So I know if I hear uh, wake up or I kill you, I know I'm, I have like five minutes to get out this house on time. But I have one that's like, it's like, uh, the first one is an army alarm. And I'm like, shut up. And it kind of progressively gets louder and louder, different ones of like, get your ass out of bed. I know you're laying in there. Get your ass up. That works too. <laughs> uh, and then about 6.50, I hear my mom say, okay, Rihanna, it's almost seven. Let's do this. And I'm like, no. But she makes me turn on my light. The big one, she makes me, okay, turn on your light. I don't care if it's blue, just turn on your light. And I always go to blue, and that wakes me up. And then my, I hear my phone go off again, and I grab my phone. So it's Yeah, kinda... I don't give him the option to tell him to turn on the light. I walk in his room, and I flip it on. And I open mm. his door up, because he sleeps with his door closed. So I... I open the door up, and flip the light on. And I'm like, come on, we gotta go. Yeah, I, I try to do a mixture of both. Where I, she get, I wake up like out an hour prior to give myself that time to moan and groan and complain and flip and toss. And I hear my mom come over, and I'm like, okay, am I at the 10-minute mark? before I need to actually start opening my eyes and moving. But the light on definitely encourages it. And I have a blue filter, so it's not like a... <sighs> Way too bright. Yeah. And then I turn on my phone, and my phone... I guess I technically wake him up an hour and a half before he has to be in class, but still. It's too early. He doesn't want it. Yeah. And then I always ha- don't want to get up, and I'm like, <clears throat> no, no, no. And then I get there, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, let's go. I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, once I walk out the door, I just, I need that time to wake up. But also, I can't get mad, though. It's my fault completely. I mean, if I would go to bed before one, maybe it'd be easier. But, you know, you sometimes that video cannot wait until tomorrow. That's my son's feeling, too. I have to watch this. Or sometimes, you know, your boyfriend texts you at 2 o'clock in the morning because he can't sleep. And you feel bad to not wake up and respond to him. Because I'm like... I want you to wake up if I texted you like that, so I'm gonna wake up for you. And then it's four o'clock in the morning, and you're like, ah, shit. Oops, we're after <laughs> sleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. How do you have your kids get up, and then do you have anything you do personally before your kids wake up? So before all of them is like nagging at you, or do you have anything that you just kind of lay there and you're just like, I lay them like, boom, I don't want to get up, but I have to. But I don't watch time. No, I have still 10 more minutes. Oh, uh, okay, fine. The alarm's going off. I'm up. 
I hate that when you wake up and you're like, I have five <laughs> minutes. Come on, buddy. Or like when you wake up and you look at your clock. Oh, I have an hour. Cool. I have to pee. <laughs> I have to be a lot. I hate it. No, I have an hour. I have someone wake me up and I'm like, oh, I still have time. Ron, I have to go pee. Watch Elizabeth. <laughs> I hate, uh, this happened before. Mom told me to give me my phone at 5 o'clock before she gets on her on her job. And I'm like, okay, now roll over. And I'm like, damn it. I think you're up. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I have to pee. That's all it I'll is. see you in two hours. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's the worst. Yes, it is. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I went to the doctor last week sometime. And, yeah, I have a UTI. That's what I'm taking medication for. Mm. Blech. Yay. <laughs> I get them frequently with my MS, so I know all about it. But blech. So now you know you're not always trying to pee. It's like, oh, okay. Now there's really a reason for it, but still. Blech. Does it taste good, the medication? I swallow that whole and don't taste it. Mm. But yeah, we're close to the hour mark. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you things. for asking me a personal question. I appreciate it. Yeah, you guys can literally ask us anything. We're almost open books. I feel like that's a very fine line we maybe won't answer. Like you ask our full name and numbers, you know, we're not going to do that. But... I can give you my full name, but you can't get my phone number. Uh, I try to keep things pretty anonymous about things because I don't want people finding me. I try to combine or mix. I give them my full name. Samantha, that's me. <laughs> uh... But, uh, yeah, thanks guys so much for joining us again. Thanks to Athea for sponsoring this podcast. Thank you so much. I love working with you guys. Y'all are freaking awesome. And we will, I will see you guys tomorrow. Or actually, no, I'll see you guys in a couple hours for a Girls' Day vlog. I'll also see you guys again on Monday for the giveaway announcement. And Samantha will see you guys next Sunday for another, for episode five. If you have any recommendations of what you guys want us to talk about on the podcast, any questions or any topics, any themes, let us know as we gladly do them for you guys. Absolutely. Anything. Yes. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out for, for an hour. I don't know why you listen to us, but thank you. We have fun. I hope you have as fun just as much. It gives us a, an excuse to hang out every week. That's right. And, um, and your mom to give a chance to see my daughter. Yeah, and I get to see her baby, too. And I'm like, hi. Uh, so, yeah. Alrighty, and we will see you guys later. Bye! Bye.